All last night, police stood guard at the cottage tucked away down a farm track a mile outside Dunfermline. Mr. McCarthy's car with personalised plates where he'd left it when he returned here on Saturday night. He and girlfriend Amanda Burns were found dead from carbon monoxide fumes in one of the bedrooms. Friends grew concerned after he missed club training yesterday. Eventually they called, heard Mr. McCarthy's dog barking and distressed and broke the door down. It was a, an ex-girlfriend, Julie, and John Watson, I believe he's in partnership with, and another gentleman, of, I don't know who that was, had come down to see where he, where he was. And the, the gentleman had gone through and obviously found what's going on. Soon after first light, tributes began to be laid outside the ground. Officials cancelled tonight's game, the Dumbarton, and summed up their sense of loss. Uh, absolutely devastated, I mean... Uh... The suddenness of it was absolutely devastating. All those close to the couple were mourning privately today at the beauty parlour where Miss Burns worked and at the house where she lived with her parents. Callers were also turned away from the home of ex-girlfriend Julie Gillis, expecting Mr. McCarthy's child in eight weeks' time. His business partner, who found the bodies today, closed the bar they co-owned in Dunfermline Town Centre. Norrie McCarthy joined Dunfermline 15 years ago, saw them rise from the second to at one time the Premier Division and a Skull Cup final appearance. Next Tuesday would have been his 500th league game. This evening more tributes were being laid by fans, some who've only known the Norrie McCarthy era at Dunfermline, now sadly ended.